It is the start of the Six Nations today, one of my favourite times of the year. And although the game is taking part, taking place in Dublin, you know they're not going to be playing down the road in the Principality Stadium. Fans are getting ready for an exciting day of rugby. And what better way to do that than to line the stomachs with a full English breakfast? I think there's no better way to prepare for a day of watching rugby down the pub or in your local rugby club. I'm joined by Reese and Dylan, two, I'd say, very passionate Welsh rugby fans, going by uh, the, the shirts we've got on this morning. How are we doing, boys? You okay? Yeah, good, thanks, Anil. Good to hear. Yeah, all good. So today, you know, Wales have been described as the underdogs for this year's tournament. What do we reckon of that statement straight off the bat? You know, we won last year, so why are we being called the underdogs? Well, yeah, it's, it's strange in, in Wales. We won the Six Nations last year, and you speak to most Welsh people, they don't think we're going to win much. Um, I think you look at the players that are missing. So you've got, like, Ken Owens, Alan jones Tipperick, Navidi, Falatau, George North... And you look at that and there's a lot of experience missing. So the guys coming through, we probably haven't got the depth of other countries. So I think it's going to be difficult. But um, yeah, we're never, we're never positive in Wales, are we? So you never know. But <laughs> You've got to have a little bit of faith. Reese. what do you reckon? You know, people are saying we're the underdogs. We might not have that good of a chance. But I feel like you have a little bit of positivity, uh, you know, to express this morning. <laughs> Yeah, no, definitely. Um, you know, Dan Bigger came out and said in the week that, you know, Wales have been the most successful team in the Six Nations in the past decade, yet we've never gone into a tournament as favourites, you know, and take from that what you will. Um, you know, I think, yes, like Dylan said, you know, we're missing a lot of players, a lot of experience, but I think that means that there's no pressure on us, you know, we're not expected to do anything, and I think that's when Wales are at their best, so I think we could shock a few people. Certainly, and obviously Wales take on Ireland today. Everyone's going to have their own take on the predictions with the game. Where do you see it going today? Not very well, I've got to be honest. I'm going to be the negative one. Um, I look at the Ireland team and it's mainly the Leinster team from uh, from the Heineken Cup and they've been dominating. Um, they've got a lot of cohesion in, in the forwards and seven of the pack have played for Leinster, um, whereas Wales are a bit mix and match. Some players coming in for, you know, ticket on the bench, you've got a couple coming on who are inexperienced. Um, you never know with Wales though, they bring it together on the day. Um, I can't see past an island win, though, unfortunately. More like 10 points or something like that. That's not what I want to hear no, this morning. <laughs> Reese. come on, you've got to have a, a better prediction for today's game. Yeah, I'm a little bit more positive than that. Um, you know, look, it, they, Wales know that they have a task, you know, up against them here. Yeah. Um, you know, Ireland come off, you know, beating the All Blacks in the autumn. Um, you know, it's going to be tough, but I think it's going to be a lot closer than people think. You know, like I just said previously, you know, there's no pressure on Wales. Ireland are the outright favourites in Ireland. I don't know, I think it's going to be closer than a lot of people think. Well, that's good to hear, if anything. Now, we are, like you said, missing some of those key players. You know, Alan Wynne-Jones, for example, even if you don't follow rugby, it's a bit of a shock for us all that Alan Wynne isn't going to be on that team. I feel like he's a bit of the, the dad of the group. He's always there, and, you know, he's the old guy. He's always there for the team. What does that mean, perhaps, for the younger players in the Welsh squad? Well, yeah, I think I read earlier in the week that this is the first Six Nations squad without Alan Wynne since 2006, something like that. So I think when the game gets tight, like it might be in Dublin today, you want someone like him who just has been there before and done it. And when he's not there, you're looking around and it's not quite the leaders they have had. So it's going to be a massive loss. You've got what, 150 caps, more than probably half the team put together. So, yeah, it's going to be really tough, really tough out there without those guys. So fingers crossed they can step up. And what do you reckon, Reese? We've got some young talent kind of coming through, the Louis Rees Samets of the squad. What do you reckon now that we haven't got, you know, perhaps Lee Halfpenny even in, in the squad today? Oh, look, you know, it's going to be tough, but, you know, it's a chance for those young players, you know, who've been given an opportunity to step up, you know. There's a lot of experience missing, Grand Slam winning experience uh, that's missing, you know. And as I said, it's a chance for the young guys to step up. You look at Tame Basham, who had a brilliant autumn. Ellis Jenkins now come back from injury and he's firing again. So, you know, a chance for him to step up and I think they're going to really take to it. And also, you know, we're not down at the Principality today. I think it's the 12th of February, isn't it? The first game that we've got at home, you know, in Cardiff. It's going to be an amazing atmosphere, I'm sure. And because of the change in restrictions, it's going to mean that we can actually go and watch the game. We can go down the pub, we can go down the rugby club. Reese, you're going to be with me later on when we head down the rugby yeah. club, of course. How happy are you that it means that we can, like, go out and celebrate and, and do these things? I think having the, the Six Nations come back round again is a time where we can kind of all raise our spirits after a time where it hasn't been so great when we've had had these restrictions particularly here in Wales well it feels like getting back to normal the last and after the last two years but um yeah I just think next week we'll probably go out for the Scotland game I just think getting that seeing everyone and going out on a good day it'll be really good um unfortunately it won't be in the stadium but it'll be brilliant just to get get out and see everyone it's just a nice back to normal lovely stuff well thank you both so much for joining me this morning